Good afternoon. We have breaking news. There's been a major incident at a Gold Coast theme park. Michael Best joins me now. Michael, uh, how much do we know about what happened? Well, Andrew, so far we know that it's happened at Dreamworld and our helicopter is just arriving now. We should have pictures very shortly. This is what we know. It's believed one person is dead at least, potentially up to four. Now, it happened on a ride. We're still trying to work out exactly which one. There are some reports that it's the log ride. Other reports from emergency services on scene who are arriving now that it may, in fact, be another water slide type ride uh, consisting of a large tube. Now, there is a major rescue operation underway as we speak. Uh, firefighters have arrived, ambulance officers and also police. It's believed that there could be two people uh, still trapped on the ride that they are trying uh, to rescue at the moment. Now, the initial reports indicated that there may have been uh, people who were injured by a conveyor belt on one of these rides. So the helicopter, uh, the Nine News helicopter, is arriving now and we should be getting pictures into the newsroom very shortly to detail exactly what is happening happening right now at Dreamworld. But it is a major emergency. Emergency services are reacting that way and, and police and firefighters and ambulance officers uh, have rushed to the scene. Michael, we can see from the, uh, uh, the overhead pictures the, the chopper shot there. Uh, again, a very full car park at uh, the theme park there. So on a day like this, uh, you can see that it would be packed with people and, uh, and all the more fears for, uh, for those involved in an incident like this one. Absolutely. We know how popular those Gold Coast theme parks are. Thousands and tens of thousands of people go to them each day. And uh, today is no different. It's a beautiful day on the Gold Coast. There would be plenty of holiday makers. Uh, families with their children there at Dreamworld right now partaking on those rides. Now we do see some of them uh, from these chopper pictures are still operating so clearly we're still waiting to find out exactly uh, what ride this emergency has occurred on but that's what we're hearing from emergency services, police, ambulance officers and firefighters right now that a major emergency has unfolded at Dreamworld that they are reacting to. And Michael, we've heard uh, you mentioned that there are fears that there's at least one fatality, uh, but perhaps more. That's the reports of police, Andrew, that there uh, is one fatality, but potentially uh, more, potentially up to four. So clearly a very serious incident that's unfolding. Uh, we'll bring you the latest as we get it into the newsroom. Uh, clearly there is something going on there at Dreamworld to attract the attention of police, firefighters and ambulance officers uh, and what is uh, what they're saying is uh, a rescue and recovery operation as they rush to the scene and try to do the best they can. And we just had some shots from the ground as well there Michael and uh, as we know it's a uh, uh, theme parks like this have uh, those daredevil rides as well big roller coasters and uh, and the big drop and the like so there's some incredible uh, velocity and forces that are exerted on uh, on these rides and on the people on them. There certainly is uh, a man actually uh, was thrown or fell from the log ride at Dreamworld back in April. Now, he suffered injuries, but by, the whole, by and large, uh, these theme parks are highly regulated. There is a huge amount of safety checks in place. They are maintained regularly. They have a reputation for safety internationally and around Australia, and that's because they are maintained so regularly and there are so many checks, balances and pieces of legislation in place to govern them. So uh, uh, we're still trying to work out exactly what ride this emergency has occurred on at Dreamworld. Those initial reports we're hearing from police, firefighters and ambulance uh, officers and staff uh, indicate that at least one person has been killed and that there may be more and they are responding. Here we see those um, large volumes of ambulances uh, who, who have arrived uh, to react to this incident uh, there in the Dreamworld car park. Michael, we're hearing uh, not only of ambulance, but you say uh, all emergency services have been called to this? They have indeed, and now we're seeing where they're assembling that the pictures that are just about to um, come into the newsroom right now. There's a, a major incident unfolding. Um, police have set up a line there, a cordon. Uh, it seems they're reacting to this major incident, and a, a rescue operation is underway uh, there on what appears to be the conveyor belt of one of those rides, uh, one of those large tube-type rides that people sit in uh, um, where they have so much fun usually, but here we are getting indications that more than at least one person and potentially up to four have been killed in this horrific incident and uh, awful uh, accident at Dreamworld. We, we can see 
police and emergency services there, um, they look like they're examining the scene. Forensic crash officials are also going to Dreamworld, also heading there. Uh, and there is a large amount of officers uh, reacting to this situation right now on the conveyor belt, um, dealing with the horrible aftermath of this incident. All right, Michael, we'll leave it there for now. And uh, as we say, more details just coming in uh, bit by bit to the newsroom and uh, we'll update that through the afternoon as soon as we have any more news for you and any more details. Michael Best in the newsroom there. And we'll have more through the afternoon, including in our afternoon news bulletin coming up at four.